you talk about uh, uh, what happened at halftime. You're down by five. What caused that second half explosion for you? Um, just my teammates telling me to be aggressive. Um, we were sharing the ball. It wasn't really me. You know, they, they found that I was open. Um, I knocked down a couple shots. Same with Nick Russell. Same with Keith Frazier. We were just sharing the ball. I felt like really well last night. Yeah, can you expand on that a little bit? Was there something said? Because you guys were really finding each other, and it seemed like you guys took the extra pass almost every time and got an open shot. Um, I just feel like it's hit everybody that it's it's uh, winner go home. So I feel like um, it's just we got to get the best possible shot we can. And um, even if I have a good look, that doesn't mean somebody has a better look. And it's just just get the open person the ball and because everybody can score on our team. Is that as efficient offensively as you guys have been in a, in a long time in that second half? Um, I feel like, yeah, um, just being patient and just letting it come to us and, and just run our offense. And so the question that I, I feel like we were, we were really efficient. If you got Cal tomorrow, you don't want to look ahead. But if you can get Cal, you got the big prize there in, in, in New York. Talk about not uh, looking past Cal. Um, yeah, and I already know Cal's a good team. They beat, um, who was it, uh, Arkansas, Arkansas. And Arkansas beat us uh, early in the year. So um, I never look past any opponent. So um, today we're going to watch the film and see what our game plan is and just follow up on that and just continue to, to play with each other and, and have fun and, and just soak it all up. With that being said, not looking forward, what would it mean though to the, for this school to end up at Madison Square Garden? Um, I, I, it would be it'd be a great accomplishment to all of us. But um, for the past couple weeks, we've just been talking about sending uh, Nick Russell and Sean Williams out the right way, and so I feel like it's not even for the program; it's just for them. You talked about the the willingness you guys have to pass up a good shot if one of your teammates has a better shot. Is that hard? to ingrain in your mind when all of you guys were probably the best scorers on your teams at high school and AAU and younger levels. Is that hard to get to the point where you're willing to pass up a good shot? Um, it is hard because, like you said, everybody's the best player coming out of high school. But once you get that in your head where you can make that extra pass, it just makes the game even more fun than it was when you were scoring, when you know that you can get somebody else on your team a shot and, and they're having fun and everybody's just clicking and having fun out there. Um, so in my mind, that's that's bigger than scoring. Have you looked at the film yet, uh, last night's game? Uh, no, nah, we're going to check it out right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> because again, I mean, it wasn't just one guy doing the extra pass, it was everybody on the team and it was you guys worked really well. But uh, something else completely different. Uh, what would your message be to, you know, the Moody, mob and to, and to all the people who have supported you guys with, with tomorrow night being the last home game? Um, just to make it one last crazy home game for us and just um, we're going to go out there and play hard for them and hopefully they come out and support us like they have been and I feel like um, it's going to be a great turnout and just, you know what I mean, give them one, one last good show in, in Moody Coliseum. What sort of edge have they given you? Um, it just give us that extra, that extra boost, that extra little fight um, with all, all the noise, all the cheering going on. Just lets us rally together and keep on going. Now, and, and I know you're playing the game. A lot, of, a lot of folks go, well, they're playing the game there. They, they really don't hear the crowd. But you guys do hear the crowd, don't you? Yeah, it, you, you have to hear them because it's, pr it's pretty hard to hear your own teammates out on the <laughs> floor. So um, you can't really get away from the noise um, being us at home or away team. It's... It gets pretty loud in there. Sean said he thought it was the loudest last night. You agree or no? Um, I can't agree on that one. I want to say that our first one uh, against UConn mm -hmm. was the loudest to me. Sean said that he'd gotten a chance to look at a little bit of Cal's film. He said they'll throw a zone at you more than some other teams that you've seen. Coach Brown has talked periodically through the year about needing to do better against the zone. Other than simply hitting outside shots, what do you do to attack a zone defense? Um, you just got to be, I feel like you have to be more patient because, you know, you're not going to get a, a shot like you would man offense, like real quick. Um, so you just got to keep in, attacking, try getting into the middle or, or low post and, and just kick it out. And hopefully we knock down shots like we did last night. And if not, just keep on pounding inside of Marcus and, and Cannon and our big guys. I know you're still in the middle of it, but you ha have you had any quiet moments when you've thought about this season and kind of, you know, what it's meant and where you guys have gone from? Two. Um, I don't really think about all the accomplishments. You know, as a as a basketball player, you you want to 
want to know what you can do to get better and as like get get my team to be better you know um after the season's all over i mean i i will probably all talk about it but that's when that's all said and done but right now we just we just got to keep getting better at times last night lsu you know, pressed you guys and that's something a lot of people think you know there have been some issues like with you guys breaking press do you feel like you guys like really improved last night i mean in the um, second I, half, you guys did a great job of it. Yeah, I felt like we um, were patient with our press. We didn't rush it, and and we just hit the open man like we were saying. Just the first open man we hit, and yeah, I mean we broke them down. We got some uh, transition baskets off their press, and then I felt like they kind of backed off that after we we got a couple of transition points. But um, I felt like we were just more patient. Just everybody let the game come to them.